Thanks for clicking in today. We are so excited at OneScreen to introduce our brand new OneScreen GoSafe body temperature and facial recognition scanner. More than just a temperature device, OneScreen GoSafe is the most reliable body temp and facial recognition scanner with live assistance, turning any public space into the safest space. Now let's talk about how OneScreen GoSafe is unlike any product in the market. With our OneScreen GoSafe device, we are the only product that has an American-made Qualcomm Snapdragon OctaCore processor built in with onboard AI for most secure processing of data, the fastest and most reliable scan. It, we have touch-free live voice assistance with central management of data and devices, our Screen Skills Guru support for free and unlimited help and training, and we have this available for purchase or as a subscription. Now let's take a look at the OneScreen GoSafe hardware. At the very top of the device, we have a Belgian-made thermal scanner that's scanning the temperature of your forehead. Additionally, we have built-in cameras for facial recognition, and we have an 8-inch display for visuals. At the very bottom of the device, you'll actually notice that there's a little image of a hand holding a card, as we do have application with some IC card and prox cards. And as you can see, out of the bottom of the device, there's an abundance of cables. So let's go ahead and jump into this application. So, we have power cables that are gonna to have to plug in directly into the wall. This is not power over ethernet. We do have an ethernet connection. However, the device is also Wi-Fi connectable. Then we have a couple of USB ports. Those could be used for connecting a mouse, for instance, to add access to the device itself and change settings. You could definitely plug in a thumb drive to upload any of the face images on here for facial recognition. You also can even plug in external ID card readers or even biometric thumbprint scanners to add dual authentication. Now, Lastly, we also have access control system connections. We have YGAN, in and out Relay, RS-232. So at that point, if you do have any automatic opening doors, locking doors, gates, etc., these connections can connect to them and allow you access to it directly through the device. Now, let's jump into the different ways and how this can actually be mounted. We have a wall mount device that can actually be placed on the wall wherever you need to be placed. We also have a table stand that's gonna sit on any platform that you're gonna to wanna to have it on as well. And as you can see here to my right, we also have a four foot tall floor stand. So any one of these options are gonna be available to you. And even within your own facility, you very well might have a mixture of these mounting options depending on your entryways and exit ways. With our OneScreen GoSafe product, we do have a couple of different ways in which you can set this up. One way is standalone mode. Very simply, all you do is plug in the device. Now what that means is this is not connected to the internet, it's not connected to any kind of server, it's not connected to anything other than the power. So it makes it very secure in this environment. Now on top of that, at this point, the device itself has the ability to have up to 30,000 facial images and names stored in it at that point. You have the ability, again, to be able to take a thumb drive and upload as many faces, up to 30,000 as you want to, directly into the device via the USB port. Now when you come up to use the device, what it's going to do in standalone mode is it's gonna obviously recognize your body temperature, if you have things like mask on or mask off or even facial recognition, it's going to scan all these applications. And the device itself is going to record the image of the face coming into the screen along with a timestamp as well as the temperature. The great news is if you guys don't want to have that recording, you have the option. All the different parameters that we have here that are available or can be either turned on or turned off. So as you are using the product, even after time, and you want to adjust and say, hey, you know what? We don't need to require masks anymore. You can adjust that setting. Now, the way in which you do this is you actually take a mouse, plug it in. It could be a wired mouse or wireless. And as you click on the middle scrolling tool, it's actually going to come up with a password protected area. The great part is not anybody can just walk up to the device with a mouse and gain access. You have to have access to the password. So once you go ahead and put the password in, then you have access to all the different settings at that point. So whether you want to adjust the body temperature settings or having masks on or anything of that nature, even the volume settings as their speakers built in, password settings, all that can be done directly through the device using a mouse. Okay. Now that is the standalone mode. Now the second way to set this up is via network mode. This is our recommended application because it gives you a lot more capability than just a standalone mode. Now, in terms of setting this up, the device of course has to be powered. Additionally, you have to then have an ethernet cable or have it connected via Wi-Fi so that it can get on your network. Now, the next steps are we are gonna provide you through our Guru support team the necessary software to install. Now, the software does have to be installed on a Windows-based computer or Windows-based server on your network. 
Once that software is installed on that computer just one time, the great part is any device on your network. It could be a smartphone, a tablet, a laptop, a desktop computer, doesn't make a difference. And through any web browser, you then will have full access to our web portal. This is going to be our one screen management web portal for all the data and devices on your network. You can technically have up to 250 devices on the same network and have access to all of them. The great part is, again, very secure, guys. The standalone mode, the network mode, nothing is going out to the cloud, okay? So you don't have to worry about that aspect. It's either going to be on your network, behind your firewall, nice and secure, or in standalone mode, behind, obviously, the password-protected application. Now, the great news is anybody in your organization can have access to this. Of course, they're going to need a username and password to access the portal. But again, many different people can actually have access to this, not just one person. So that's a great way for you to be able to access all the different data features and even have access to the devices themselves. So those are your two main ways to go ahead and set up your OneScreen GoSafe product. Let's go ahead and take our OneScreen GoSafe for a quick test drive. Now, at this point, what happens is as soon as you get in front of the screen itself, it's going to recognize you and it's going to basically turn on at that point. It was just in standalone mode at that point. Now, what you'll notice is that LED light bar automatically turned on for us. The nice thing with that LED light also is that as you go through the process of scanning, it will also have different colors depending on what the outcome is. Now, what you will notice is there's a nice little white outline that you're supposed to put your face into. Oddly enough, shaped just like my head. Now, as I walk into the device, there's going to be a red dot you want to place that right in the middle of your forehead and as it takes your temperature it's also going to then at this point deny me access why you ask it's because i was not wearing a mask we happen to have that setting clicked on remember guys there's a lot of different parameters of our device and so at that point it's your choice on how you want to set this up in our case of course we have temperature but we also have mask recognition so what i'm going to do is put my hospital grade blue mask on which is preferred I'm now going to re-enter the screen. As I walk into this guy, again, red dot right on my forehead, guess what? Because I have my mask on, it granted me access. Now what you will notice is that even though I had my mask on covering pretty much most of my face, it still was able to facially recognize me as I am in the database. And remember guys, there's all different kinds of parameters on here. Now here's the great part. If you happen to have your device connected to any access control system, whether that be a door, a gate, whatever it might be, it will then unlock that door or open that door for you. But those parameters need to be met. So if you have the body temp and the mask and the facial recognition, whatever they may be, they have to be met and then it will open. But let's not forget, there's going to be a lot of instances where these are not going to be set up with any kind of access control system. If that's the case, then your organization is going to need to set up protocols on what to do, let's say, if someone does happen to have a temperature. Maybe it's signage, whatever it may be, it's your choice on how you set that up on your own. However, the great part is we are the only ones here at OneScreen GoSafe that now are offering an email notification if someone happens to have a temperature. So. If I go into the device, get scanned, hey, Kevin happens to have a temperature, what's gonna now happen as an option is to have up to 10 different people receive an email. It'll actually have an attached image of my face. It'll then have my name if I'm in the database and it'll have a timestamp with my temperature. That way, the necessary people within your organization know that said person happened to have a temperature and again, Everybody can follow the correct protocols. So again, that's a great little test drive of our OneScreen GoSafe device. Jumping right into our OneScreen GoSafe data and device management platform, this is where you have the ability from any device on your network to access all of the data of the devices as well as the devices themselves. So right now we're in the data console, and this right here is where you have the ability to see all the face scans. These are the statistics. Additionally, those are the total face scans, but you can also have it broken out into employee, visitor, and stranger. Now on top of that, we even have an area down here for attendance, and we have the day's traffic as well. So that literally just shows how many people are passing that have normal temperatures and or a fever, and of course all the attendance. Now on top of that, down at the very bottom over here, we have real-time monitoring of all the images that are coming directly into the screen. Now from here, we also can go into a lot of different other applications. So this is my device list. Now what you'll notice here, if you look right here in my circle, is that we have an online status. So right now there are four devices, but only one is online, and that's perfect because that's the 
the device that we're using today. Now over here on the right hand side is very important because this is the operation side. This is where I mentioned earlier that not only can you make adjustments directly to the device itself at the device, but this is where you can also do it remotely. So if you even notice here, this little guy right there, that's the one where I click on it it's gonna then give me access to all the different settings on each and every device on the network. Again, guys, up to up to 250 devices can be on the same network at the same time. So we again, we can choose whether or not we wanna have the body temperature test even on or off, what the threshold is in terms of the temperature, uh, whether there's an alarm that goes on. There's compensation for temperature, so if it's hot or cold outside uh, to an extreme, you can also adjust for that. And down at the bottom is where all the mass detection, having a fan running, especially in higher traffic areas, stranger detection, stranger record, all that can be found and done right here through the management portal, which again is a huge reason why we do recommend to use this guy on our network application. Now, for attendance management, this is not gonna be for everybody, but for those people that wanna actually track attendance, this is a great system for that as well. You literally have the ability to put all the devices, obviously in your entryways, and then you can also have them upon exit, so that way you literally know who's coming and going. At this point, there's clocking in times. Uh, you obviously have the names of people, clock-ins, uh, not clocking in, you have the status of everything, and even the body temperature of each of these people. So you literally have the ability through our attendance management platform to go ahead and get all the records, statistics, and reports that you might want to gain from that as well. Now in personnel management, simply put, you have an employee list. Now remember, you have the ability to go ahead and set up to 30,000 faces and names in the system itself. Now here's a big factor, guys. Look up here in the right-hand corner that I'm circling. This is where you have the ability to add in bulk. So obviously you're not gonna wanna go into the system on itself and just do one face at a time. Whether it's hundreds or thousands, you can actually create a CSV file that has a user number and then of course the first name and the last name and then you can have JPEG images of faces and this can all be uploaded right here in this add in bulk area as well. And that makes it really quick and easy to have every then device have the ability to have all the names and faces on them. On top of that, you also have the visitor management and blacklist management. Uh, blacklist management, simply put, is if I happen to have a temperature and I want to make sure that I don't come back in, in a certain amount of time for quarantine, that I can be blacklisted regardless of whether or not I'm hitting all the different criteria uh, for the system itself. Pass management's real simple. It has all the different records of people passing. You also have pass permissions. These are the employee list. And of course, blacklist monitoring, all that good stuff. And lastly, we even have system management. And this is what I mentioned earlier, is that you can actually allocate to as many people as you want in your organization the ability to be able to access the data and device management platform. However, not only can they have access to that, you can even have a hierarchical situation too, meaning that certain people or certain groups can have access to only certain information, let's say the attendance, or let's say the personnel management. So you can actually break it down that way depending on how you guys wanna do it, but you've got a lot of control there as well. Now, here's the kicker, guys. Not only do we offer data management application, but it's really device management application too. And that's a huge differentiator with one screen go safe. It's both data, but also device. Now, what this means, guys, is that you actually have access to the devices that are set up on your network. Now, as an example, look over here on the right hand side. We have our remote area. When I click on that, guess what? It gives me that same screen that you guys saw earlier in the presentation, where if I engage it, it actually is then gonna go ahead and show whatever's being seen on that camera. The awesome part about that, guys, is that you literally have the ability to have someone sitting remotely and actually watching people real time if you so choose. So it's a great application for that. With repository actions, there's a lot of feature sets with installing packages, policies. One of my favorites is advanced messaging. What I can do here, for example, is I would click on emergency exit and click on apply. It's actually going to go ahead and send a message directly to the device itself at that point, And you can see an assembly area. Again, you have it all right here so that Anytime that someone walks up to this, there's gonna be a little alarm that sounds and you'll actually have a map. But again, this could be any image or, or information that can be shared through our system just by pushing it from the network platform. Additionally, you can send regular mess messages like a text message onto the device. I have the ability to lock them remotely, unlock them. I can even sign a siren if I want to, and I could turn them on and turn them off. 
all remotely using our data and device management platform for the OneScreen Go Safe. This is a big differentiator, guys, to allow you the ability to access all the different data and devices. Again, up to 250 on the same network. And another extremely unique aspect to OneScreen Go Safe is our live assistance. This gives you the ability through voice activation to contact someone live either in your organization or through our support team. Let me give you an example. Call assistant. And as you can see, it's dialing. And here it is, our support team. So again, the idea is that through voice activation, you have the ability to say call assistant and get someone in your organization or even someone from our support team live on the screen itself. Thanks so much, support team. And let's do a recap as to the differentiating factors of one screen go safe. First, we are the only product that boasts the American made Qualcomm Snapdragon octa-core processor with AI built in. This makes it the most secure, most reliable and fastest product in the market. Additionally, we have not only data, but device management as well for your networking purposes. We have our voice activated live assistant where you can actually get someone on the device itself for any support purposes. And of course, we have our live screen skills guru support to offer you guys free unlimited support and training for the life of the product. And you have the ability at that point to purchase this product outright or even through a subscription. Thank you so much for joining us today. That's a wrap on our overview for One Screen Go Safe.